This is the real Tom Rose. And for questions like this, where they're giving you coordinates and they want you to do perpendicular lines or perpendicular bisectors or reflections or anything like that, um, I've often I've found that the dominant strategy is really just to uh, draw it out really well and sort of count it over and measure it by eye. So let's do that. Um, so they give us the point negative six five. So let's go over one, two, three, four, five, six, and let's go up five. One, two, three, four, five. So here's your point negative six five. It makes a line A that passes through point negative six five makes a forty five degree angle with the x axis. Now, one of the challenges here is that there are, it says the line passes through that point and makes a 45 degree angle with the um, x axis. There are two lines that do that, right? There's a line that goes like roughly like this, and there's a line that goes roughly like that, right? And they're asking us uh, which one. Uh, they don't tell us which one, we don't, and we don't know which one. So we have to do both. And, uh, the good news is that, so you might be thinking, ah, oh, crap, there's four lines we have to keep track of now, right? There's the two possible lines here, and then each one of those has a particular, has a, um, a perpendicular line to it, right? So that would be four lines. Turns out the perpendicular line for a 45, so if you have a 45 degree angle line, right, that line is the line that has a slope of one or negative one. Right, these are your two 45 degree lines. They either have a slope of one, which is this one, the positive slope, or they have a slope of negative one, which is that one. Perpendicular lines, what that does to the slope is it is the, uh, the negative inverse of the slope. So if your slope is one, the negative inverse of that is negative one over one, or negative one. So one and negative one, those lines are perpendicular to one another. So when they tell us, hey, there's two possible lines here, that we have to use, and then you need a perpendicular line for whichever one you choose. Well, that's actually the same two lines. There aren't four lines here, there's really only two. So that's a nice little feature of this problem, right? Um, so what we really need to do is just plot both of these lines and see which one is in the answer choices. So the first line, let's do the positive sloping one. If it has a slope, of, it's a 45 degree angle, that means it has a slope of one. Um, I just know that, but if you, you know, if you're, if you want to prove it, go over one and up one. That's a 45 degree angle, right? Um, rise over run, one over one is one. So um, let's start counting over. So we're at we're at, we're at what negative six comma five. And as we go up, we're going to go over one, up one, over one, up one. So we need to go over six, right? We're at negative six. So we're going to go six over one, two, three, four, five, six over. And we need to go up the same amount. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six up. And that's where our line is going to hit. So if we went six over and six up, that'll take us to zero. And we started at five and now we added six. So we're going to be at 11. So that's the point zero, 11. That's important because we need the y-intercept. The other line that's a potential for us is the one that goes like this and it goes um, down one and over one, down one and over one. So we need to go uh, to hit the x-axis or we need to hit the y-axis. We're gonna need to go the same six over that we had from the other line. But now every time we go over and we gotta go down one, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six to negative one. So these are our two potential lines. So let's build the equations for both. So you want, to build a line, you need slope intercept form. You want y equals the slope. So the positive one has a slope of one, uh, which is one times x is x, and the y intercept is 11. That's one possible answer. Or we could have y equals negative x minus one. And so we have to hunt for both of these, and uh, this is the one that was on it. So that's the one they were looking for. Tricky ACT.